right, there he is. You got a big one. I think this is a big shark. <laughs> Mr. Hayden's got a big one on. You've got a big one on. Those two young boys, you know, it was a pleasure to spend the day with both of them. And uh, it's, it is really cool to watch them grow up and be able to handle different fishing like shark fishing. Try not to lose his fingers and let him go. How about that? That's your shark, man. Double header action. Awesome. Yeah, double header. Double header. Double I'm rigging header. as fast as I can, boys. Yes, look at that guy. That is a that shark. Is the biggest fish I've ever caught. Woo! Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor. Thank you, Hayden. All right, look who we have here. Hey, Reed. What's up, y'all? Reed's just ready to rock. Reed. How you doing, buddy? Good. Big okay. jump. Big jump. Woo, big jump. <laughs> Reed, you ready to go, bud? Give Hayden big five. Don't I'm ready. Me. Man, Reed's oh, grown up a little don't bit. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I will. Woo, good one. <laughs> What's All up, right, man? well, I think we got about, go we got the boat yes. ready. Ready to go good? If you got Reed ready, we Reed, can probably. Are you ready? Go on and get out of here. Ready to rock and Everything's roll? Everything's ready, running, full of gas, mate. You want to sit here? I got some special treats for you, Reed. Yeah. Yep. Woo. Mama packing some good stuff. Good. How about getting that bow line? All right. And okay. I'll get the stern, you the head and pan. Rope, buddy? Cool day to take, take our uh, youngest boys. Uh, you know, out there fishing together. That was the first time that those two youngins had gotten to go out together. Yeah, Hayden, he's he's doing so well. He's he's now 11 years old, and uh, you know he loves to fish. He loves to you know spend time with me. And generally, if I tell one of the boys that I'm taking yeah. the other fishing, it's a competitive thing, and one of them's getting upset. Not not so here, man. It was really cool. You could just say, I'm going to take Hayden fishing today. Everybody else is fine, just hanging around the resort. There's so much to do. The dolphins, we got the, the, the kids club and, and all of the things that you can do over there. It's really, really fun. And of course, they really enjoy the pirate pool, the slides and the cannons and water cannons and everything. It's a kid's paradise. So uh, worked out worked out good, you know, allowed us to, to take the young boys fishing. And for me, my, you know, my youngest is four. You know, it's, it's uh, hard for you to probably remember when you were young, your boy was four. Oh, but, no, I don't remember. But, uh, you know, that was probably when we first started fishing together a lot. Your, your, your boys were that age, and, and uh, you know, it's neat to see Reed because he's, um, he's my kind of my partner. My older boy, you know, he, he likes to go, but he's got a lot of other interests, too. He had a little baseball camp going on, so Reed was like, I'll, I'll go. And um, 5.30 in the morning, Reed jumps on my bed and wakes me up and says, Dad, it's time to rock and roll. <laughs> so I think we're going to go for a rod bending day that might include some sharks. Yeah. Sharks. Variety, sharks, and Hayden, you might, you might make it back to the Everglades for the first time. We've never been back there, have we? I don't think so. I'll tell you what, there are an amazing amount of birds. There's also a lot of sharks. You like sharks? Yeah. I like sharks. A lot of weather that I'm looking right now. Seems like we're gonna be able to go over there. I would say so, it looks pretty nice. Hayden, you know, even though he grew up in Key West, we, I've never been able to take him to the Everglades. And I was hoping that we would see some really cool stuff over there. You know, lots of birds. You could see dolphins over there. You could see all kinds of stuff. And it didn't disappoint. One of the first things that, we, that happened to us over there, just on the way before we had even started fishing, we stopped and these dolphins are doing the craziest thing. They're up there chasing mullet around, but they're, they're corralling them in the big circle. Look at them. What are they doing over there? Are they getting mullet or? If, if they get mullet, I've seen before, they go in a circle and they scare them. Like, they go that way and then they go that way and then they eat them. Look at them. Pretty cool, right huh? There. How many How many do you think there are? I, I, I saw four. And that, that guy, look, right he made a big Look at them, they're chasing, they're, they're, they're chasing them out so of the water. Cool. Look, look at that. Oh, the chasing, are chasing the mullet out of the water. water. That's awesome. See him that chasing is the so mullet? awesome. Not many people. Look at that. They're, they're holding their That's mouth so open. That's so cool. Daddy, hear that? Not many 
people get to see this. Yeah, you're right. That was a great start to the day because, you know, already it's been a home run. I mean, we could turn fishing around right fishing. there, it's man. We could turn around right there. It's just, you know, an amazing place for that. Great so, opportunity for the kids. Hayden, I told you we were going to see some cool stuff up here today. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? There they go. I thought maybe they might just sit there, but they're on constant hunt for bait. So we will go and see what we can catch. I want to see how many different species you guys can catch. Yeah. I want to see how many... Who can catch the biggest shark? Here you go, Harry. There he is. Fish on, buddy. Yes. I'm going to say, that's you, buddy. I think somebody got a bite. I, I think he's got a shark. I think we got the right one that time, bud. Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin. Only in a Yellowfin. By Mercury. By Hawks K, the only key you'll need. And by Motor Guide. Costa sunglasses and power pole. We had an idea, you know, let's go across Florida Bay and go to the Everglades. I was really hoping that, you know, we would go up there and, and be able to show Hayden some really cool stuff. The dolphins were a great start to the day. Some bird life was next. And, you know, stopping in one of these mullet muds and trying to catch some of these ladyfish and stuff was our plan next. But with this crazy wind, what I'm telling you, man, nothing was happening. No, was I was starting to fear for uh, you know, then, you know, the then kids. You had a good plan. You know, luckily we had the chum. We already had carcasses, fish carcasses from from Scott's. Uh, you know, daily. I think we had some snapper and yellowtail carcasses in there. So we knew, we had bait for the sharks. Right. And it's, you know, instead of saying, all right, let's let's just forget the, the ladyfish. Let's go straight to the shark spot. It was which is a channel we'd probably catch ladyfish and stuff in anyway. So we went there. The tide had switched. The wind. Had, it was like you know, flipping a switch. All of a sudden, the wind died down. You, you got the chum out. We started to see a couple sharks swimming up on the flats, which yep. is always a good sign. They were moving in. You know, as the water was starting to rise, those sharks were starting to move in. Oh, here you go, Harry. There he is. Fish on, buddy. Yes. I'm going to say, that's you, buddy. I think somebody got a bite. I think he's got a shark. I think you got the right one that time, bud. Let's see what it is. Mr. Hayden's got a big one on. I guess we'll just land him. That was that ladyfish? No. Carcass? Awesome. Yeah. Carcass. Yeah. Whatever this is. It's fast and big. I just saw him real like crazy. He just turned around. Just real. Don't even pull back. Just real, 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 real. Maybe he dropped it. No, you're good. There you go, Can Hayden. I get fighting this? Yes, you may. Good work, big boy. And Hayden was able to do it by himself. And, you know, I could see Reed kind of checking it out. He was like, I think I might be able to do that, you know? If, if that guy can do it, I think I might uh, be able to cool do it. It's cool to watch him, you know, you're like, Reed, get, get Hayden the belt. He brings him the fighting belt, you know, Hayden gets that fighting belt on, and, you know, watching Hayden, I mean, you say he's strong. I mean, knew how to fight the fish, pull up, reel down, you know, knew how to, how to work him around the boat. It was very impressive to watch that, that, that you know, man, that's young man that's been fishing so much, to, to see him go to work on those big sharks. Nice, nice lemon shark. Good job. He's right here, Tommy. Whoa, Good work, guys. Watch, watch the chum bag. Hey, did I hear more the lemon shark? Nice lemon shark. Woohoo! We got a big one. We got monsters. Look at Whoa. that. We got monsters. All right, step back, little Sweet. Reed. Sweet. I've got just a thing for him. Right He's under Buddy, though. Way to go, Hayden. Nice job, man. Look at that, guys. Look at his teeth, Reed. It's neat to, to watch, you know, you've handled so many sharks. I, I personally just, just like to take the hook at them and let them go. Right. But it's interesting to watch, you know, the kids, you know, they do. They want to touch their first shark and see it. And, and to see you put the tail rope on, bring them up there nice and safely, get the kids out of the way. And, and uh, you know, it's cool to watch the kids, you know, reaction, seeing that shark. And well, you know, that's the thing. And, and you know, in order to do that, we had to lay some ground rules. We had to say, okay, look. We will bring the shark up on the deck and you can look at him and you can even touch his tail. But we're gonna set some ground rules and we're gonna make sure that this is going to happen and get an agreement from each one of the kids. Or is this what you're gonna do? And I said, all kids off the front deck, all kids back here behind Mr. Rich. And you know, if that's what you're gonna do, then I'll bring him up here and we can, we can look at him and, and check him out because everybody wants to check him out. The kids are gonna learn so much by seeing this fish out of the water and actually touching him and feeling him and, and, and just, you know, checking it out. We're not gonna hurt this shark at all. We're gonna actually help him by getting this, sh this hook out. 
Nice. Look at those teeth, Reed. And once we get the hook out, we're just going to let him go. Hook out. Okay. Hooks out. Nice. And what we're going to do is let him roll over one more time. Okay. He's just like that. Let's see. <laughs> Look at that, Reed. Can I touch him? Yes, you can touch him, but here's, yeah. here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn Hold him around. Rod. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this on his tail. If you wanna touch him, I'm gonna keep this on his tail so I have control over him. Okay, now I've got him, but stay don't away from the stay that way. Ends. I'm gonna turn him around like this. Hold his dorsal fin. And here's what we're gonna do. Look at that. You can touch his tail. Touch his tail. Okay. Yeah. And touch his tail. Completely black. Now look, he could still come around on you, okay? So when you're, while you're touching his tail, you need to be watching his head, okay? Now, when you all have touched his tail enough, I'm gonna let him go. Sandpaper yeah. going back, yeah. smooth yeah. one way, sandpaper the other. Okay, yeah. let's let him go, because I can feel him starting to tense up. Reed, you back up. All right. What do you think, Reed? Okay. Now, what we're gonna do, very easy, nothing to be afraid of. You just don't wanna be silly about sharks. If I grab his pectoral fins, I'm steering him. Okay, and he's gonna go right in once he comes over, and he'll be just fine. <laughs> All right. He tried to bite the boat on the way out. Did you see that? Good job, man. Hey, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's our fisherman's handshake. Oh, yeah. Cool. Give Hayden five. Tell him good job. All right. I know how to catch another one. Yeah. Good job, man. Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Lowrance and the all-new HDS Gen 2 Fish Finder Chart Plotter. Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. And by King Sailfish Mounts. Marine Formula Stable. And Scott Fly Rods. It's always good. I love to teach the kids about the ocean and about everything, about the baits that we're using, about the sharks that we're catching, about the techniques, about the knots, everything. And, and that's how you create a fisherman. You show them one step by step, you know, one thing at a time and be patient with them. And, you know, sooner or later, you're going to look over and they're going to be doing it all by themselves, you know, and Hayden's there. And yeah, man. Well, Hayden it was cool, is, man, watching him, you know, catch that first fish, let him go. And, and it was just, you know, at that point in time, the frenzy had started. Well, start, stuff starts happening. And not only are we catching the sharks now, the tide's pushing like we want it to, the wind shifted, and now we're starting to catch some ladyfish and, and, and other stuff. And Reed gets this experience of, of uh, fighting a catfish. catfish. Big, big catfish. And, you know, I know he's caught a lot before, but I think in that situation, he was kind of like, well, I got this. I got this. I want yep. a shark next. I can see him, Reed. I can see you him. You see him, and I'm going to catch this one. Reed, I think this is your first shark, buddy. Right. Pull up. By Re reel himself. Down. By himself, yeah. I think this might be. We've had some tarpon with him. I take him out doing some different things. But he's never caught a shark. And, and it was one of these things where I'd really just never had the opportunity. Never had, you know, it's, it's good to have two adults that know what they're doing as a safety precaution, as, um, you know, it's, there's some work involved, you know, there really is. And, and to be in a situation like that, it was a great opportunity. He watched Hayden do it. He saw Hayden, you know, the way he fought him. You know, he, he, he saw the shark. He knew what it, what, it, what it was. He felt comfortable. And he just had a ball with it, you know, it was so oh, yeah. cool. And then all of a sudden, he's a big kid, you yeah. know? There he is, Reed, look at Whoa, that! Oh, that is Way to big. go, Reed! That's right. a big pull one. Him, pull him over here, and, and Mr. Tom will grab him. He's a monster. I hit the he's monster. a monster. Reed, watch him. Walk over way. here. You did it, Reed. Good Got work, the bud. Power. Do the power. Hey, Reed, how about we just let him go? Yeah. What do you think? Look at him, Reed. Come on, I'm ready on. for him. Both hands. How about we just? It's all you. Hold Man, on. that's a nice one. Both that's hands. a great, great fish. Okay, reel down a little bit more, and we can even use your bait again. Well, that's and then the cool. thing that I remember the most is the end of Reed's first fish. He's catching that shark and did a great job getting it up and I was, you know, I was really happy for him and everything was going good and you, you were down there wiring it for him and you grabbed the leader and when you let go of that leader, I wasn't watching 
and then that rod snapped, snapped real hard, and all of a sudden Reed is just, ah, you know, crying. I'm like, you're, you're okay. You're okay. Did it hurt you? Hurt you? Something happened, you know, just quickly, and yep. and I was scared. I was like, oh boy, uh, mom's not gonna be happy. Well, I think we were kind of all were like that, and I thought you know, our day was over at that at point. The, at the at the heat of the worst cry, all of a sudden something catches his eye. What do you think? Here. I'll, I'll... I did a big crab again. A big crab again? Oh my goodness, look at that big crab. <laughs> okay, pull up hard, and now reel down, reel down. There you go, lower and reel. It was so funny, I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, because he just went from one extreme to the other, and he did it instantly. Instantly. Yep. And, and you know, it's like, you know, it takes us kind of, uh, a while to get upset or get you know happy and just just like flipping the switch that perfect distraction you talk about perfect timing that crab coming by yeah big crab good job Reed. there's another one <laughs> you take that other one but we did this one look at that one jumping Reed, that's your shark buddy yep good I'm, job I'm him on the boat. i don't think we're gonna get him on the boat Let's try, 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 try not to lose his fingers and let him go look at him there how about that? That's your shark, man. Good job, Reed. Look at him. Look at him, Reed. That's your shark. Good job. You did good, buddy. Look, he bent the hook. He's so tough. Give Mr. Tom a big high five. Yes, sir. <laughs> good job, buddy. Hey, look, hey, hey, you must be the well, I'll tell you what, you boys are gonna wear me out, Reed. Hey. Good job, buddy. Give me a kiss. Good work. Mm. I'll rig this up for another one. Fighting belt. Need that other one for you. No, no. <laughs> That's a big one. He'll catch this one. Reed, good recovery after the line got you there. Good you're, recovery. You're tough it was that guy. crab. Hey, there's that big crab again. <laughs> that was good, huh? I love it. You know, a lot has changed in offshore fishing in the last few years. With the advent of braid, we're now able to use lighter and smaller reels, which makes it a lot more fun for my kids or my smaller customers. Hey, it makes it more fun for me to use a lighter, smaller reel and get more out of the fish. Well, Finor has just introduced the Marquesa line of reels, and I'm telling you, this is the finest reel I've ever fished with. And you know, anytime I'm selecting a reel for my charter business or, or for my own personal fishing, I wanna be able to say with all confidence, you know, that's the only reel I need. And you know, I don't wanna buy you know, a million different things and only have one or two of them because I've only got so much rod storage on the boat. So I want reels that are gonna be incredibly versatile and that's what this one is. I can say with all confidence that any center console guide in the Florida Keys could get away with having only this reel. You can sight cast to sailfish, you can kite fish with this reel, bottom fish or, or drop back to a tarpon or big sharks. And what I like most about it is even with its small size, this reel is capable of holding 60 or 80 pound braid, and it has a six to one retrieve ratio, which means that I can fish confidently. I can butterfly jig for the fast fish like wahoo or tuna. I can get a bait back to the boat and deliver it back out to a sailfish if I need to. Now, knowing that this reel is virtually limitless in its drag capacity, and that it'll hold 60 and 80 pound braid, makes this reel the one reel that I feel confident that I could fish any situation in the Florida Keys, really inshore or offshore. When you pick it up, you're gonna recognize the quality immediately. I mean, this is the smoothest reel I've ever had. Go down to Bass Pro, pick one up, ask the guys a lot of questions. I think you're gonna find that this reel is incredibly versatile and it deserves a spot in your arsenal. Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Finor, legendary tackle since 1933, by the Florida Keys in Key West, come as you are, and by Corrosion Block, Gamakatsu, and Loadmaster Boat Trailers. Want to be on our show? Check out our Facebook page and find out details on how you can be a guest star on Saltwater Experience. Got another one, all right. We got double. Double header. Double header action, awesome. Yeah, double header. Double header, double header. 
I'm rigging as fast as I can, boys. We got double headers. I got to tell you, I was very impressed with both of those young men and how they behaved on the boat and how they were able to um, follow directions and, and do what we were asking them to do because, you know, both of them have fished a lot. And I think both of them realized that, you know, you got you to gotta do things on a boat uh, for safety's sake. And, uh, you know, you got to be very careful. But those two young boys were, were at their, their best behavior. You know, it was a pleasure to spend the day with both of them. And uh, it's, it is really cool to watch them grow up and be able to handle different fishing like shark fishing. It's a day they'll remember. We got hey, two yours fish at the same not time. Quite ready. We got both of them right here, though. Let's try. Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome, boys. Double header sharks. You got them coming in faster than Mr. Tom could take them off. There's one. Get, another, get another bait and get it out there. Good job.